Hey guys, this video is going to be a bit of a collective haul because I'm going to be doing a few small hauls over uh, pretty much the next few weeks. So I'm just going to go through these items really quick for you guys. So the first thing I have here is the Oxbow Natural Science Adult Guinea Pig Food. Um, I thought I'd try this out. It was um, about $12.74 with Pet Perks. Uh, so it was like $2 off, and it's about the same price as uh, normal Oxbow adult guinea pig food. Basically, there's this little chart here, which tells you all of the good things that, that your food needs. So it has high fiber, vitamins and minerals, prebiotics, omega-3 and 6, healthy protein and fat, uh, what they do and what ingredients that this food provides them with. So, for example, healthy protein and fat is good for muscle health and energy and they have flaxseed, yellow pea, and canola for that. Um, and then it tells you to feed your a mature over six month guinea pigs one eighth a cup of pellet days in addition to unlimited Timothy grass. Um, and it also tells you down here how to start um, transitioning your pigs onto new food. Um, this is also made in the USA as with all Oxbow products. Uh, the pr crude protein minimum is 12%, crude fat minimum is 3%, crude fiber, crude fiber minimum is 22 and the max is 26. Uh, so that's really good. And the ingredients are what I really decided to um, buy this. Um, the analysis is, an, um, is pretty much average or a little bit over. But the ingredients are timothy grass, orchard grass, oat hay, oat holes, canola meal, yellow, or whole yellow pea, whole barley, tomato pumice, dehydrated, flaxseed, uh, things like that, and lots of other goodies. So that's why I chose this food uh, to switch my piggies on. The next thing I am trying out is this All Living Things uh, Reptile Decor uh, Plastic Coconut. Uh, you have to rinse it before you put it in. It has a little uh, breathing hole over here. Uh, so, it's a plastic coconut. It's for the gerbils. Uh, it's decent sized. Uh, I have three of them, if you guys don't know. So, I'm a little worried because it's plastic, but it's really thick, so I'm hoping they won't chew it. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that, but if they do chew it, it's going to Toby, my hamster, for temporary purposes. Uh, but it will go to him if... Uh, they don't work out with it, but they don't chew their wooden hut and they don't chew their wheel, so I'm hoping that maybe they'll ignore that this is plastic and just not chew it. So that's uh, what I got. The jerseys. The last thing I got were these uh, greeny dog treats. Uh, the pigs can't have these, but I got the teeny and the petite uh, ones. So the teeny tiny one right here is for Toby. Uh, this is Toby's size. Um, hopefully he won't try to shove this whole thing into his face. Uh, this was 69 cents from PetSmart, which is a really good deal. Oh, and the coconut hide, I believe, was $2.99, which is also a really good deal. Uh, so, um, I just thought it'd be a nice little treat. I don't know if he's ever had dog treats like this before, uh, so I thought I'd try that out. And I also got the gerbils, the petite one. Uh, crude protein is 32%, fat is 5%, 5 to 9 percent and the fiber is 5 percent so again these are an occasional treat um, I wouldn't recommend feeding them to them all at once hopefully they'll try to take bites out of it at a little time uh, but that's all I got for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little haul uh, it's pretty small but I hope you guys like that um, and yeah thanks for watching hello everyone so today I got um, two very 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 large boxes as you can see from the thumbnail um, of a Dr. Foster's Hi guys, Smith so haul. this first box we have right over here uh, is my 25 pounds of um, Oxbow Timothy hay. Um, I did this instead of any oat hay or anything like that or um, any orchard grass, but I'm just going to get this out of the way real quick um, and open it up. guys so this is my giant box of hay here it's in a bag um, I'm probably going to just keep this in the box and cut off the little flaps here um, but I'm going to just show you this hay um, now the first thing that I notice is that there's literally a million of these little fuzzies that the pigs love um, and that's kind of 
and it's really, really green. It's nice and dried out. Um, and there's a little note here. This just says, our hay quality promise, um, and it just talks about um, how they test and sample all the hay and uh, the size packages and stuff like that. So I love Oxbow hay, most people do. Um, a good alternative is KM's um, Clean Mama's uh, hay, um, but this gave me free shipping. This is 25 pounds of hay, um, and I believe that's about 400 ounces. Um, I usually get a 96 or a 106 ounce bag. Um, this is just very, very compressed. Um, so this should last all of the pets a while. Um, this is really good hay. The hay that I recently have is really, really thick and really tough and strong hay. Um, and it's not as grassy, so the pigs really don't like it. So I'm probably going to be mixing this in with their current hay just to make them eat it. Um, but yeah, it's really green. It smells so good. Um, but yeah, they packaged this, the hay separately. And this was about $45, so if you want to buy hay in bulk, um, I really, really recommend getting it from Dr. Foster's and Smith. Um, I wouldn't get the hay that's special to their brand. Uh, because you can't really buy it in bulk, but you can get oxbow hay in bulk there, and um, obviously you know it's going to be really good hay, and also you can buy it in like 25 or 50 pound bags, uh, or you could buy it as little as 5 pound bags. So I really, really recommend getting this hay from there, and I do recommend buying hay in bulk because I think I saved about like $40 buying this hay. So let's get on to the next box. Alright guys, so this is my next box. So the downside that I can say about this box is it's pretty much already open. Uh, which you would think is really creepy or anything, but it wasn't actually opened. Um, I'm pretty sure the tape just slipped. Because if you guys can see here, the tape just kind of got wrinkled up. Um, it really doesn't look like it got handled or anything, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, as you can see, there's only a little bit of tape here, so I think it just slipped off. Uh, which. I don't know, it might bother some people, but I don't know, it doesn't really bug me. I don't think it got open, I really just think it got, um, the tape just came off. Alright, so now that I opened the box, um, there's some really nice packaging in here. It's this weird little bubble stuff that you see, it's just a tube of air. So, I don't really have anything to, ooh, this one's kind of deflated. But, um, really didn't have anything overly delicate in here. Um, yeah, here's like an empty bag. So, things like that. Uh, so the first thing I see is the Dr. Foster and Smith, I think this is like a catalog. Oh, and there's two of them, so here's another save now. So, I don't really know what's in here. Um, I might put a caption across the screen if I read it and find out. But yeah, I think those are just little catalogs and stuff. So, the first thing I see... Oh, is a 10 pound bag of oxbow pellets. This is the adult guinea pig food at KB Cuisine. Uh, this is pretty much one of the best pellets you can get out there. Currently they're on the oxbow select, um, sign select I believe it's called uh, and they really don't like it. I'm going to start mixing this in and giving them both oxbow pellets. Um, I've given this to them before um, and they really like it. Um, a better food is actually the Clean Mama's KV pellets, and that's what I've heard that has lower calcium. And I'm just gonna look real quick on my online confirmation. Um, this was about, I think, $13.99, um, and that's basically what I could pay for half the size of this. So getting, I got twice the amount of food for the price that I would get for only five pounds. So that's a really good deal. Um, as you can see, it's really airtight sealed like all oxbows and um, it's just the same packaging that you've seen before. So then I have five pounds of my reptile sand. Um, now for, you really want to buy chinchilla sand if you can, but I had none in my local pet stores. I checked three of them. There was none there. There was only chinchilla dust and there was only, uh, what is it? And Dr. Foster and Smith only sells chinchilla dust, so don't buy dust, buy sand if you're giving it to your gerbils and or slash hamsters. Um, now I also looked online and I read that you can use reptile sand 
or you can use um, child's play sand and bake it in the oven. Um, so basically, the difference between chinchilla sand and this sand is chinchilla sand is 100% like volcanic ash or something like this, and this is 100% like brown quartz, I believe. Um, oh yeah, this is just my hands. Oh, my reptile sand was actually $4.49, by the way, and my KV Cuisine was $13.99. Um, so the next thing I have is a 60 liters of Carefresh Shavings Plus. Now, I don't know if this is new or not, but I have never seen it before. Um, I've never seen it. Um, I actually just recently saw it in stores. Um, but I could pay this price for... Um, I pay, you could pay about $15 for a bag like this at my local pet store. And basically what this is, I believe it's 70% Aspen shavings and the rest of the percent is Carefresh. Now my Carefresh in here is blue. Um, and I really, really like this because I use Aspen for both Toby and for the gerbils. Um, I use Carefresh only in Toby's hut area because he makes a mess in there and it's really gross. So he needs Carefresh. Um, and then I use Carefresh and Pigs because they smell really bad. But these shavings are really, really shaved down, if you guys can see that. They're really, really small, uh, fine, fluffy shavings. They're not really thick and hard like the ones that I use that I get from my local, local tractor supply store. And I paid $5.59 for this. And this is on sale for about a dollar or two less than it originally is. I believe, um, and this is compressed to 25.7 liters, but it expands to 69.4 liters. So this should last me a pretty good amount of time with Toby and the gerbils. It absorbs 2.5 times its weight. You guys are all um, aware of Carefresh products. Oh, it actually does say new. Down here at the bottom it says new. So it is a new product, um, and I think it's a really good idea. There is about 30 or 40 percent Carefresh in this bag. All right. So the last thing I got in here was a mini pinata, which was $1.99, um, and I'm kind of disappointed with this. I thought this was significantly larger. Planet Pleasures, and this is made in the Philippines. Uh, so I am a little bit sad that this is so small, but I'll know for next time, I guess. Um, I think this is only like four inches or so. But yep, that's my haul. The box is now empty. Um, I'm really actually satisfied with everything. Despite that one toy being small, that was probably my fault. Um, the packaging was really good. Everything got here got safe and sound. Um, they have a really big selection on Doctors, Fosters, and Smith. Um, and I'm really happy with it. Alright you guys, so I'm really um, just closing up here for you guys. I am really happy with this haul. Dr. Pastors and Smith has a lot of products um, and they do give you free shipping after $50. So if you are buying hay or something in bulk, uh, it's a really good place to buy hay in bulk. I really, really recommend buying it online, um, especially from this place because you can get it for, you can get a lot um, and you can get it for free shipping. And especially because it's a 25 25 pound box of hay you might want free shipping with it um, so I pretty much saved overall about $60 um, between bedding for Aston shavings um, and the care fresh for the hay uh, the food everything like that so I saved about $60 I had free shipping and I got here in about five days so I will definitely be ordering from them again. I will be getting pretty much all of my hay and pellets from them because I can afford to give them um, better quality pellets online. Um, and also if I ever want to buy a little toy or something for them, um, I can just order it online for free shipping um, and I can pay my parents back. Uh, because my parents pay for the essentials and I pay for all the toys. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, I think that concludes our little collective haul. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!